Our journey in documenting the heroes and heroines of our Middle Eastern history takes us to the center of the Arabian Peninsula at the onset of the 3rd century BCE, to a time in the past referred to by Muslim scholars as al Jahiliya, the times of ignorance, when the godless Arab nations of Nejd were witness to wars raging amongst their own peoples as well as impending invasion from both east and west. Our setting is the small oasis city of Jo, a town located 30 kilometers north of the current capital of Saudi Arabia, Riyadh. Jo was a prosperous and safe city that was an outlier when compared to the other main cities of the region, as it had escaped the ravaging aggressions of its neighboring hostile cities that were commonplace at the time. This blessing was not a coincidence, but due to the genius and talents of a single citizen. Zarqa al Yamama. Zarqa was a beautiful woman who was from a well respected family in the social strata of the city. Her face was magical as her glimmering bright blue eyes were contrasted by the famous powder al Ethmet, known as kushan or mascara. Zarqa's use of this mixture as a beauty product, though, was secondary to her real reasons for its application. Her gifts of appearance were insignificant when compared to her other superhuman talents. Known for her eagle-like sharp vision, it was said that Zarqa could see up to a distance of a traveler's three-day journey. Not only was her literal farsightedness of no match, but she would also impress the city's elites with her optical skills by picking out a gray hair sunken deep within a glass of milk. And the mascara that was so relentlessly applied, she believed, help her maintain the superior eyesight. Zarqa's gifts were a great military advantage to the city. In numerous occasions, she would forewarn the rulers that a raid or battle was upon them. With such strategic advance notice, the city was promptly alerted and systematically ready for defending their borders. No force could surprise Joe's inhabitants. Again and again, invasions were thwarted due to Zarqa, Joe's early warning system, until one day, the neighboring enemy, the city of Humayr, put together a sinister plan of deception. Knowing of Zarqa's abilities, the invaders camouflaged their soldiers with tree branches, covering their bodies whole. Zarqa, constantly on the lookout, recognized that there was something strange happening. Trees were moving towards the city. She could see no people, no army, and the threat of the situation, although sensed by her, lacked any real visual proof. Zarqa warned the generals that an invasion was imminent, but when asked by the military what she saw, she could only present the visual facts. Trees appeared to move towards the city. The generals mocked Zarqa and accused her of losing her legendary vision and mind. A day passed, and as Zarqa rushed into the palace screaming to the generals that there were soldiers hiding behind the trees, the first wave of invaders had already overwhelmed the city. A massacre befell the population of Joe and Zarqa was stripped of her vision. Darkness overtook darkness in more ways than one. A few days later, Zarqa would pass away. The facts are difficult to separate from the legend when it comes to Zarqa al Yamama. Did she have such vision? Maybe not. Science has comprehensively proven that seeing in this conventional way, for such distances and without any technical assistance, was an impossibility. But in analyzing what constitutes superior vision, and upon removing the believable from the unbelievable, we are left with another powerful and as great an ability, intuition. And it is this gift that Zarqa al Yamama should be associated with. Her ability to home in on the happenings around her, to be in the here and now of her environment and sense the complex energies and spatial imbalances that may or may not impact the fate of her nation and people was a testament to her importance and standing in our Arab history. And just maybe, when all is said and done, and when we forget about the radiant, bright blue eyes encircled with their contrasting dark black powder, Zarqa al-Yamama should be considered as the foremother of female intuition.